In this little video, we're going to show you how to upload a document and link to it within your portfolio. So I'm going to give an example where I put up my CV onto my ePortfolio. So here's the CV page. It's got it combined at the top. And we're going to have some text here that we can use for the link. So I'm going to just type in, follow this link to see my full CV. So now we've got some text in there. Now, to put a hyperlink on, we're going to left click and drag over the text. That brings up our various boxes. I'm going to click on link and I'm going to click on asset. So now an asset in PebblePad is an item. Now at the moment my CV isn't uploaded, it's not in this list. So I want to go to upload. I want to choose a file. I've already put it onto my desktop, so I just have to whiz down here and find it. There it is. So if I click on that and click on open, that is going to drag it up and the title of the document will be clicked on BTI DS confirm upload. So that is uploading and there it is. So now I've got a link directly to my CV. If you want to see what's in your asset store, we can go back up to the burger menu at the top left hand corner, click on that, let me just move my video out of the way. We can look at the asset store itself. I better save that, yeah, I'll save that. And then here is a list of all of the assets that are currently present, and there is the CV that I've just uploaded. So let's go back to my page. All right, so I put on the CV tab and click on there. Now we've got a link there. That's not very exciting to look at. What I'm going to do is add a content and I'm going to add an image. Let's put a new image box below. So what I want to do here is display an image of my CV that we can link to. Now to do that, I have already opened up my CV here. And I'm going to use a handy tool called the snipping tool. So if I go down to the search menu and type in snip, there's the snipping tool there. I'll click on that. It'll open up the program. There you go. It's just whizzing away. Whiz, whiz, whiz. Brilliant. So we want a new tool. And then we can highlight over the area that we want. So I'm going to grab all of that. And that's now an image. So if I file and save as, I can save that as an image. It always calls it capture, but I'm going to call it CV. Whoops. CV DS. That's been saved. Get rid of that. Get rid of that and go back to my pebble pad. Now, to put the image in, like we did in the other video, open the asset store. Go to upload. I want to add the file, which is on here somewhere. So scroll down, there it is, CVDS, JPEG, so click on that, and open. So that's got my CV. Confirm that upload. So now we see an image of my CV. That's great, but that's just an image. So we want people to click on that and something to happen. So if we click on it, go up this top corner and click Properties, and then for the block, so if I click on my block, there's my image properties. We can have a title like we did before. So we'll have Dr. David Smith CV. But what I want this to do, when people click on it, I want it to open up the file. So if I click now down on on clicking image, link to asset, choose the asset. There's my CV and click on that. And then we'll close that box. When people click on this link, it will open the document up. So we'll save. And we will preview. So there's my link to the CV, just in text format. Here is my link, and if I click on that, it's going to open it up. It's going to ask me if I want to have a file. It's having a bit of a whiz. Open the file. And that will open up the CV as a new Word document. There we go.